Hi everybody, it's John with Backyard Eden, and today I just want to bring you a quick look, sort of a pepper update, sort of not. Stay tuned. Okay guys, we're back here and I'm bringing you a, just a quick little update on some of the pepper seeds. Now, if you've been following my videos, you've been watching and you've been seeing me do different things with pepper seeds this year. I've, tried to, I've started pepper seeds in three different methods. I've tried them in the bulk method, which actually works really great. I've tried them in the double cup method that works super awesome. And a third method that I just posted a video on just recently on the paper towel method. Now, the paper towel method, is it works great too. I've used it many, many years with success, uh, but I want to bring you a quick update on how they're doing. So, here are my pepper seeds that I started. Here are Fresno chilies, or Fresno peppers, uh, that I started. I started them on 125.18. Um, let's take a look. All right, so here's the bag. Okay, I'm going to take these this paper towel out of the bag. I'm going to show you. All right, here we go. Unfold the paper towel. All right. Looks like we got a couple sprouted. Let's see if I can get this close enough for you to see. Right here. That is sprouted. Um, here is one right here. That is sprouted. If you can see that. Uh, here's one right here that is sprouted. Uh, so once they sprout, you want to go ahead and get them transplanted as early as you can. The reason why is because once that once that root that's popping out of the seed hits the paper towel, it can get tangled up with the paper towel and you know you don't want to leave them in here just too long because the paper towel is moist and can cause mold. So you do want to get these plants or these seeds transplanted as soon as you find them sprouted. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how I do that. So. I've got my soil mix over here, the same mix that I've been using um, this whole time. It is the Kellogg's Organic Potting Mix. Uh, I did add in a little bit of fertilizer just so the plants could grow a lot longer without me trying to feed them. Um, it does already have some good stuff in it. It has worm castings, bat guano already in the potting mix, so that's great. But So all we're going to do, there is the potting mix right here. Okay, I'm going to take these cups. Now these I've already used. Um, so I'm going to take a cup and I'm going to fill this cup up. You want to lightly pack it down. You don't want it to be too packed or anything like that. Um, I just kind of tap it down. Uh, you can press it down if you want. Um, I try not to press it down too much. The roots need air to breathe. So there's one. All right, guys, here's my three cups. Here's my three cups, okay? Super simple to do. Fill them up, tap it down just a touch. All right, now, the seeds at this stage, they have started to sprout. So it's a, just super simple to pick them up. Um, the longer you let them grow here, the longer let you let them stay in the paper towel, they will get attached to the paper towel. Okay, there's the seed. I'm holding the seed between my fingers, and there is the root. Uh, I did say that is the root. That is the root, guys. Be careful. Okay, the seed is actually going to be uh, the seed encases the cotyledon leaves. So when planting this, you want to put this little bitty white root. You want to put that down. Okay, so super simple to do. Let's let's do it. All right. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my cup, I'm going to take my cup and I'm going to put just a little 
just a little divot, okay? Can you see that? I'm going to take the seed and I'm going to put that white root down. Okay, and that's all I did. Okay, it is facing down. It doesn't have to be perfect. The root will find its way down and the seed will find its way up. But if you kind of help it from the beginning, it helps. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to simply cover this up just like that. Just like that. All right. That's all there is to it. All there is to it. When that seed continues to sprout, okay, it will push through the top of the soil, the roots will take hold, and you'll have a plant. Super simple to do. Um, you could have, if you need to use some tweezers, uh, so these seeds are a little tiny, the roots are tiny. If you need to use tweezers, you can do that. Um, I have fat fingers, I probably should, but, you know, whatever. Once again, make a little, just a little divot, just a little hole, and you want to put that root down. So that's like that. And you want to... Then you want to cover it up. All there is to it. Let's do one more. Okay, little hole, little divot. Oh, actually I see more sprouted, so I'm going to do a couple more. Another one. Okay. Put it just right down in that hole. Try to put the root down, cover it up. All right guys, so that was just a quick look at how you transplant seeds from the paper towel method. Uh, it's super simple to do, um, to transplant them into cups. Once the seed finished sprouting, the seed will poke its head out through the soil, the roots will take hold and you'll have a plant. Uh, it's super easy to do. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Um, share it with your friends. Uh, if you know someone that's using the paper towel method uh, or the baggy method, whatever you want to call it, um, and maybe they need to know how to transplant, what to do now, once the seed sprouts, what do I do? Um, share this video with them. If you haven't checked us out on social media, go ahead and do that now. We're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest. You can find the links in the description below. Uh, if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, pop those in the comment section below. If you have any tips or tricks, pop those in the comment section below. I'm always looking for that. I'll get back to you on any questions you may have. And if you haven't checked us out on our website, go to www.backyard-eden.com. And as always, guys, this is John. Have a great day. Hey, you made it to the end. Awesome. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and do that right below this video. And please, if you enjoyed it, share with your friends. And I hope that you will come back and continue to watch our content and also have a awesome day.